In the description below there's a drum kit that you can download and also a tutorial on how to make your drums louder. Click the link below in the description before I start this video. Today's video I show you how to make chord progression mel and melodies for piano on FL Studio. So first of all, I use the Grand Piano, piano um, VST by Citrus, which is found on the plugins, and then you add that to the channel rack. Then you choose key highlighting and choose the keys that are in the pale grey, and start in roughly about C4 or C5, where's the key to be quite melodic, and then just basically choose the notes that you would like to hear and tap them in right after each other, so about one to two at a time and fill in to the first bar of your sequence. Once you have done that, drop down to some lower keys and add some chords. So that's just basically doing about four spaces this time, like four little squares, filling in just keys two at a time, one under each other, and then make them vary in um, pitch, so like higher notes and lower notes and different octaves starting off from like low to high or high to low and you can make it rise up or rise down and basically fill this into the first bar just by copying or doing what similar to what I am doing in this video to sort of use mine as an example click the select tool, highlight your notes and then stretch them to the end of the bar and press play to see how you feel and what you think get a feel for what you've just created i am on 49 bpm which is quite slow but it's nice to learn and practice on i decide to delete the drums here you can have drums later on if you want but i'm just doing the piano for now you can do this with guitar as well and now I'm on the Grand Piano, I'm on the FL Fruity Piano preset and I'm just basically are adding in more high notes and I'm just randomly filling them in on the grey, the light grey squares as you can see in the video and I just place them in just after each other again and I just place them in to the end. I don't bother changing the velocity so I feel like that I want them all to hit at the same time. Most people do to make it sound more realistic and natural, but I feel like it loses sound quality, and I think it's better to have it sort of at the same levels. Next thing I do is I go to the mixer track and I choose the piano that isn't reverb, the grand piano, fruity piano. I add a basic fruity reverb on it. I use the cathedral preset add the bass and whatever I do, just copy me in the video, I just turn all the knobs up basically and make it so it's your own preferable sound so it's nice and reverby effect. If you enjoy the video, add the piano into the playlist as well, enjoy the video, like and subscribe and peace. This is how to make a piano melody.